guys, it's Jill, Farmer of Lucy Crafts. I have something to show you guys. I'm starting to, Miguel of who knows, starting to rub off on me. These boxes behind me came from Facebook Marketplace. You wanna see what I got? Okay, so I think it was Sunday and Mr. Fiber sent me a, yeah, it was Sunday. He sent me a link to a posting on Facebook Marketplace and it was yarn. So y'all don't ever let Mr. Fiber tell you that he doesn't support this whole endeavor. He's very supportive. And he's an enabler now. We can now call him an enabler. <laughs> I do have my air conditioner on. It's very hot today. So I hope that that is not too noisy for you guys, but it tis the season starting and we're start we're gonna start having air conditioner noises, just so y'all know. So I contacted her and I wanted to know because she had put a price of $30 and I said is this still available is it $30 and she said yes and I said can I come look and she said yes and she said she worked until 1 o'clock in the afternoon and I said okay I said I will come on Wednesday so today is Wednesday the 20th of April 2022 and I said I would come on Wednesday afternoon and take a look well there's three boxes here so we're just going to go through them one box at a time I'm actually going to um, I'm probably going to stand up and I'm gonna point you down so you can see what's in the box okay all right here is the first box there was a bag here with Thread and two, I forget what these are called, but this is for cross stitching. Now, I don't know if there's any patterns of any kind in here for cross stitching, but I know I can use this thread for other things. And if not, if I decide not to keep it, then I know, I'm sure I know people who would want this. There's a little kit here. This one is a little frog. So whole kit, there's even a little needle in there. And this says it's for ages six plus. So I'm pretty sure that I know some that could do that one. Here is an entire case of crochet hooks. We'll go through that in a minute. Got a little piece of material here. This would be nice to go on the inside of a bag. Some felt. This felt has the sticky on the back. So it could be like a mouse pad. This is some Ada that would go well with the cross stitching stuff. Another piece of a thread. There's some buttons. 
These are all blue, all different colors of blue. I think they sell these at Hobby Lobby. There are some poster letters. These are sparkle silver. This is for beading. These are the the beading needles. So they're the real thin wire that you can string beads with. There's a concho. That would be great for a shawl or something. Work out how to tie that on. Here's some other, I don't, if anybody knows what these are supposed to be for, they're, they've got holes in them, but they're flat. And I really don't know what these are used for. There's some beads in here. Look at all of these. These are all seed beads, glass seed beads. Those are nice. There are some removable stitch markers, a whole bag of these. Set of knitting needles. These are a size 10 boy, B-O-Y-E. Some crafting wire. So the green crafting wire. This on the side I think is all plastic canvas because she, this lady did plastic canvas. So we've got three pat this is these are 12 by 18 that some of them have been cut. There's some more. Here's a pack of six 10 by 13s hasn't even been opened. Some more of that size. There's a smaller square piece. Here's some round pieces. Another square piece. Here's some more letters. Oh, these are the, the gold. Let's take a closer look at these crochet hooks. So it's, she put them in a little case, which is nice. There's a little set of scissors. So we've got some plastic needles. They look to be about all the same size. They probably came in kits. These say Oxmoor House. Yes, I believe these were kit in kits by Leisure Arts, size G. I bet they are all about that same size. I don't think I will keep these though. I will probably put one in, um, I don't know how I will use them, but I will probably use them as giveaways because I don't like the head on this one. It's the inline, and I'm I'm getting where I'm deciding I don't like the inline. Now we have lots of the small size. Those of you who do thread work will be excited to see these, but I want to go through and see if there are any heroes in here. This one's different. I'm going to have to get a magnifier and also clean this one up because this one is quite old. 
looks like Millward. Does anyone know that? M-I-L-W-A-R-D, Millward. Look at this old one. And the rest of these are all various sizes. There's a hero. There's a hero. Susan Bates. OMG, you guys. <gasps> These are all heroes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's a J and a K and an H and an H and an E and a G and an F and a C. Oh my gosh. These are all hero. If you guys know, the hero hooks are Crystal of Bag o Day. I'm gonna she's going to be so jealous when she sees this haul. Yes. All hero hooks. And if you know, you know. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm so excited. D. And this one is a two. But I don't know, it actually even has a cover on it. How interesting. It's got the metal cover. I've never seen that before. And this one is a D. So a lot of these smaller ones are great for amigurumi. I'm so excited. And then these are all boy hooks. So they have various sizes a lot of the little bitty ones. Now I'm going to have to compare these with what I have because I have several of the I call them thread crochet hooks. Okay. I have several of those. Okay. Now let's look at the yarn. Okay. Let's just start in this corner and work our way around the box. We've got Super Saver. Red Heart Super Saver in the color Buff, which I am so glad. I gave some of this away, and I'm really glad I've got it back because the Amogurumis and things, this is going to be great. We've got an orange pumpkin. I used most of my pumpkin to make pumpkins last year. So, Super Saver Pumpkin got a yellow here which I think there's two I think these are the same thing they look like it this is I love this yarn yellow so there's two of those that's nice this stuff feels really good so those are good for, those would be great for um, blankets. So like spring, summer, colored, brightly colored, happy blankets. Ooh, there's an ombre. I don't think it's the whole thing. Doesn't feel like it's the whole skein, but it's an ombre. Look at it. It's purple. This one is called violet. Yeah, it's definitely had some some used out of it but there's a good amount there we've got a red feels like I love this yarn but I don't know what color we've got another one which is a red heart 
and I don't think they're the same because they're just a little bit they're a little bit different can y'all kind of see that a little bit different there but there's a red heart cherry red oh there's another one <gasps> there's two of those two of those in the purple ombre okay my camera cut off on me and I had to go back and figure out where we left off so I put the ones that we've already done back in the box because I'm going to be putting them back in the box anyway. So it just saved me some time. There's a soft navy. And I'm trying to figure out why they call this soft navy. It's super saver. It's soft, soft navy. Do they have a dark navy? Or a light navy? I don't know the super saver colors very well. Soft Navy. That's Mr. Fiber going by. And I'll tell you guys, at some point, he is driving our new, not new truck, but new to us truck. We'll, we'll get into that story. Then we've got a Super Saver. And this is Perfect Pink. Have you guys ever noticed that the pinks are all really soft? depending does it matter what brand they are how cool is that this one is a michael's right crafters no no this is hobby lobby isn't it let me see yes hobby lobby's crafters secret and it is called pink but it's another soft pink. These feel good too. Ooh, I may have to stock up on some solid colors in those. And I'm pretty sure this one doesn't have a label, but I'm pretty sure it's an I Love This Yarn in Black because there's been several of those here. And an I Love This Yarn in White. We've got a Super Saver in Metallic. And I don't think I've ever had any of their Super Saver Metallics and these feel really good. I'm liking that a lot. Then we've got Walmart's Mainstays in Green and in Royal. Trying to go just a little bit faster, you guys, because I've got two more boxes to show you. And then there's this one, which is Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo. And you know, the Super Saver Jumbo and the Super Saver Ombre feel very much the same and look very much the same. But this one, but these are a, this is a variegated. And this one's called Bon Bon. Some of you knew that even before I said it, huh? And these have 482 yards in them. And then the last one in this box is a Yarn B Soft and Sleek, which I love the Soft and Sleeks. And this is the color Light Blue. This is their anti-pilling, and these are really, really nice. Okay, that is box number one. Here is box number two. Oh, something got stuck to it. Got some white. This one has got a mix of yarns in it and some other stuff, so let me pull these out. We've got a whole bunch of beads they're not just beads though you guys they're also the um the flat these forget what you call it, the jewels the flat jewels so we've got hearts with some blue flowers with some green flowers 
some blue dots and some hearts oh this is like a mixture there's a couple of other things little butterflies and stuff in there too pink flowers and then all of these are beads lots of purple purple beads must have been doing a purple project of some sort okay then we've got this cone and I, I'm thinking what is this this looks like nylon thread yeah it's like a nylon thread there's quite a bit of it on there that's cool probably for making stuff with the beads for jewelry I would think okay now I'm going to dump this out we've got several of these I don't know what they are I don't know what yarn this is but we've got it. There's no labels on any of this. Well, there's some on one of them, I think. But we've got like a beige. Now, this is about of a, a sport weight yarn. Like a beige tan. We've got this color red, which is I would say is like a cherry and a and a true red. And then this one is, uh, there's a green one also. It's just been used a little bit. So there's a green one of those. And then there's a brown. And I dropped one. Ooh. And it's like a pale yellow, like a butter color. So that's neat. I don't know what they are. If anybody has any ideas on that let me know here's a metallic this looks like it could be there's a pin in there I'll take that out this like it could be the red heart with love metallic maybe there's a smaller one this one is a roving or a roving style I like the color it's a real pretty teal roving style here's like I said there's a yellow so that's gonna be it's just it's a great scrap this is good scrap stuff here we've got a pink this one got a little bit dirty I'll see if I can't clean that up See how much of it comes off when I undo it. And a white, which is great for scraps. We've got a couple different purples. Like an eggplanty purple, a little brighter purple. We've also got this one, which has been caked. I know I've seen the name of this somewhere, the color of it. I know it's a red heart, but I cannot think of the name of it. So you guys let me know if you know it. We've got this is um It's not simply soft because it's a little bit bigger around than that. But it's sleek. Soft and sleek maybe. What are you doing, Serbs? Oh, he's playing with his toy. <laughs> And then we've got this one, which is a green. I think this is a red heart. It's a little brighter than the other ones. We've got a cotton in an orange. Definitely a cotton. It almost looks like a willow, the way that it's, but I don't know. It's a cotton. With three, oh, 
this is wool. We've got the Comfy Classic in a gold. So these are Yarn Bee. Yarn Bee Comfy Classics. They are 48 viscose, 30 polyester, and 22 nylon. It's kind of stretchy. That's interesting stuff. There's two of those. And then there's three of these. Okay. Made in Norway. They're called Smart Superwash. Hundred percent wool made in Norway. Fifty grams a hundred meters, about a hundred and ten yards each. Real pretty. Ooh. I'll have to put that together with some of that other Norway yarn that I have. That's a neat find. Okay, that's the second box. So this is the third box, you guys. This one is fairly big, but on one end of this, it has material. There's a bag of these, which are for floral stuff so sticking into the um, into the form to put your flowers together it's a whole bag of those those are also very good for blocking things on the mats so if you're blocking out a shawl or something so there's a whole bunch of material there's that one this one feels like a t-shirt type material there's that one. I have something in mind for most of this. Oh, there's a Dallas Cowboys. There's a peach. There's a black and white. That's like, um, like the shirt shirt material. This is like a curtain. This is heavier, like curtain stuff. It's velvet. Probably came off of a pillowcase. Dallas Cowboys. There's another sheet. All right, but I do have something in mind for all this material. Someone in mind. I'm, I'm going to keep the felt for sure. Okay, now we have some thread. Three different colors of thread. We've got the Red Heart Classic Tin in white. We've got Aunt Lydia's. These are all mercerized cotton, size 10 in orchid pink. And Aunt Lydia's Fashion Thread, size 5. metallic gold. Now we've got some more yarn. Super Saver Patty Green Mainstays Gold Super Saver Jumbo in the white. That's nice. Super Saver, another black. Ooh, look, this will be great. This is coffee. Super Saver Jumbo in coffee. This is gonna be nice to keep around for amigurumis also. Oh. Oh, look at that. Another metallic. 
Now see that other, that red, it looks about this size. So I think that that's going to be another Super Saver Metallic in red. But this one is the, is uh, Super Saver Metallic in silver. Nice. So it'd be nice to have some more of the scrap yarn in black. There is a Yarn Bee Soft Secret. This one is sky blue. This is a lot like Simply Soft. That's really pretty. But look at here. We've got a pound of love. This one is denim. That's awesome. My goodness. Now the Pound of Loves have 1,020 yards of a number four weight yarn. Now I've been working with the Pound of Love in the Navy on the Duty Ron Squares and honestly it feels lighter than a number four when you're working with it. At least that navy does. This looks a little plumper, but I don't know. But that's beautiful in denim. Oh, how that's nice. Okay, now you guys want to know what did I pay for it, right? So all three boxes, she had them listed for thirty-five for thirty dollars, and I said, "Are you sure?" And she said yes I said okay so I figured when I got over there I would see how much was there and you know if I felt like 30 wasn't enough I would give her some more money I was right and let me turn you up just a little bit there we go I gave her 45 for all of this for all three boxes and I don't think that I overpaid at all what a deal with all this stuff that's that's just unbelievable to me and eight hero hooks are you kidding but here's the thing why I would really like to keep most of this and I will give some of this away but I would like to keep most of it and use it to make something because her husband is the one who was using the yarn so she had taught him how to crochet and knit when he was ill he was at home, homebound, and so she taught him how to crochet and knit. And I think that's why she wanted to get rid of this stuff. Because his care worker came home with, co came over and had COVID. And he caught the COVID and he passed away from COVID complications with what he already had. So I really feel like she probably wanted to go ahead and let this stuff go. And um, she does diamond painting. She's a she's a really nice lady. Her name is Cynthia. So Cynthia, if you are watching, I, I promise to honor him by making some really wonderful things. And I'm thinking making some amigurumi from some of this and giving them away to to children at um, the um, the women's shelter. So that's the plan. And I'm not sure about the beads yet, what will happen with those and some of this other stuff, but I'm sure I will figure it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, for watching my videos, and have fun today. Bye, everybody.